Some people think that a healthy diet can be achieved just by loading up on fiber, eating whole grains, and cutting out fat. However, this is a big misconception of what a healthy diet is. What if the healthy diet that you thought was helping actually does you more harm than good? In this video, we're going to discuss the reasons why your healthy diet may be harming your colon. Let's explore the importance of the colon and the mistakes you might be making. And in the end, we'll share easy tips and a balanced diet meal plan to make sure your colon stays healthy. First, let's talk about the colon. The colon, also known as the large intestine, is a major part of your digestive system. After your food goes through your stomach and small intestine, it ends up in your colon. The colon's job is to absorb water and any last nutrients from the food you eat and then get rid of the rest as waste. But here's where it gets interesting. Your colon also plays a big role in maintaining the balance of bacteria in your gut. These bacteria are called gut microbiota, and they're crucial for digestion, immune function, and even your mood. When your colon isn't working properly or is irritated by certain foods, it can cause a lot of problems. Things like bloating, constipation, or diarrhea are just the start. When the problem gets worse, it could lead to irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, or an increased risk of colon cancer. That's why it's so important to keep your colon in good shape. Starting off our list of mistakes, we have mistake number four. Too much fiber and not enough water. Fiber is great for you. It helps keep your digestion regular and can lower your risk of heart disease and diabetes. But here's the catch. Fiber works best when it has water to soak up. If you eat a lot of fiber and don't drink enough water, you could end up with the opposite of what you want, which is constipation, gas, and bloating. Here's how it works. When you drink water, the fiber in your food absorbs it and makes everything move smoothly through your intestines. Without enough water, the fiber sits there and hardens, making it harder for you to go to the bathroom. Dr. Jacqueline Wolfe, an associate professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, highlights that many people aren't eating the right foods and aren't drinking enough water. This highlights the importance of proper hydration and fiber intake for digestive health. This is especially true if you're eating foods like whole grains, beans, and vegetables that are packed with fiber but not getting enough fluids. If you've ever suddenly started eating more fiber, you may notice some bloating or discomfort. This may be because your body wasn't used to processing all that fiber, especially without enough water. So what can you do? It's simple. Just make sure you're drinking at least eight glasses, which is 84 ounces or two liters, of water every day, especially if you're upping your fiber intake. And if you're trying to eat more fiber, do it slowly so your body can adjust. Next, let's talk about eating too many whole grains. Whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, and whole wheat bread are usually considered healthy. They're packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals, so people often load up on them. But here's where things get tricky. Eating too many whole grains can actually cause problems for your colon. Whole grains contain something called phytic acid. Phytic acid is a natural compound found in the outer layer of grains. When eating whole grains in small amounts, it's not harmful but eating too many can stop your body from absorbing important nutrients. The phytic acid can block calcium, iron, and zinc absorption. Over time, this can lead to deficiencies in these minerals, which can affect everything from your bone health to your immune system. Phytic acid can also irritate the lining of your gut, especially if you have a sensitive digestive system. This irritation can lead to inflammation, which makes your colon work harder, and may even cause leaky gut syndrome. This is a condition where harmful substances leak through your gut lining and enter your bloodstream. So what should you do? It's all about moderation. Whole grains are great, but make sure you're not relying on them as your only source of fiber. Eat fruits, vegetables, and legumes to get a variety of nutrients without overloading your system with phytic acid. Next on our list is a mistake that many people make. It's relying on artificial sweeteners. It's a big one that a lot of people overlook. These are found in tons of diet or sugar-free products like sodas, snacks, and even protein bars. They're meant to be a healthier alternative to sugar because they have fewer calories. However, they can actually do more harm than good when it comes to your gut and colon health. 
Here's the deal. Artificial sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin can mess with the balance of bacteria in your gut. Your gut microbiome is made up of trillions of bacteria that help you digest food, fight off illness, and even control your mood. When you consume too many artificial sweeteners, it can throw off that balance and allow bad bacteria to take over. Studies have shown that people who consume a lot of artificial sweeteners often experience digestive issues like bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Over time, these sweeteners can even contribute to bigger problems like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and increase inflammation in your gut, which is not what we want for a healthy colon. So, if you're trying to avoid sugar, try natural sweeteners like honey, maple syrup, or stevia instead. But remember, even natural sweeteners should be used in moderation. Now let's jump into our last big mistake, skipping healthy fats. For years, we've been told that fat is bad, and that eating a low-fat diet is the key to staying healthy. But that's only half true. Bad fats like trans fats, found in fried foods, and some processed snacks are harmful. On the other hand, healthy fats are essential for good health, including your colon health. Your gut lining acts as a barrier that keeps harmful substances out of your bloodstream and ensures that only nutrients get absorbed. If you don't get enough healthy fats, this barrier can weaken, leading to a condition known as leaky gut. Leaky gut allows harmful bacteria and toxins to enter your bloodstream. It can cause inflammation and potentially leading to digestive problems or autoimmune conditions. However, if you consume healthy fats, it will help your body absorb certain vitamins like A, D, E, and K. Without these vitamins, your body can't function properly. The key here is to avoid unhealthy fats like trans fats and instead focus on natural sources of fat. Not only will this support your colon, but it will also improve your overall health. To keep your colon healthy, it's important to follow some simple yet effective tips. First, balance your fiber intake. Fiber helps your digestive system, but it needs water to work properly. If you're new to a high fiber diet, start slow and increase the amount over time. Also, don't rely solely on whole grains for your carbs. Mix in a variety of healthy carbohydrates like fruits, vegetables, and legumes to add more balance to your diet. Another thing to watch is artificial sweeteners. While they might seem like a healthier option, cutting back on diet sodas and sugar-free snacks can benefit your gut. Try sticking to natural sweeteners instead. Adding healthy fats like those found in avocados, olive oil, and fatty fish is another great way to protect your gut and help your body absorb important vitamins. Lastly, always listen to your body. If certain foods make you feel bloated or uncomfortable, it could be a sign to cut back or find alternatives. But how can you tell if your colon isn't healthy? Some common signs to watch for include bloating, especially after meals, and frequent gas, which can indicate that your gut bacteria are off balance. Constipation or diarrhea are other warning signs, as they suggest that your colon may not be processing food properly. If you experience stomach pain or cramping, particularly after eating, it could signal irritation or inflammation in your gut. If these symptoms keep showing up, it's a good idea to consult with a doctor or nutritionist to get things checked out. Creating a meal plan for a healthy colon doesn't have to be hard. Here's a simple guide to help you put together balanced meals. Starting your day with a fiber-rich breakfast is a great way to support your gut health. You could try a bowl of oatmeal topped with fresh berries and a sprinkle of nuts or seeds. This combination not only provides fiber, but also essential nutrients. Alternatively, a smoothie with spinach, banana, and Greek yogurt can help. It boosts fiber and probiotics to kickstart your digestion. For lunch, aim for a balance of lean protein, whole grains, and plenty of vegetables. A quinoa salad with cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, and a drizzle of olive oil is a nutritious option. You can add a piece of fruit for a natural and healthy sweet treat. At dinner, eat a balanced meal. Include a protein, like grilled chicken or baked fish. Add brown rice or sweet potatoes, and steamed broccoli or kale. For snacks, choose gut-friendly options. Try a handful of almonds, carrot sticks with hummus, or a small bowl of Greek yogurt with honey. By planning your meals with a focus on fiber, hydration, and nutrient balance, you can support your colon and overall health. And there you have it, the reasons 
Why your healthy diet may be harming your colon. Taking care of your colon is a crucial part of maintaining overall health, and making small changes to your diet and lifestyle can have a big impact. Remember, it's all about balance. Keep working towards a healthier routine and listen to your body's signals. We'd love to hear from you. What are your go-to habits or insights for maintaining a healthy colon? Share your tips or experiences in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest health tips and information. And if this video has helped you, please consider sending us a super thanks. It's a great way to support our channel. Also, please don't forget to check out our merchandise for some cool stuff. Take care of your colon, and we'll see you next time.